Good morning, everyone. All right, so today we are making, um, I wasn't really sure what to call it, but um, it's a loop and Christmas ornament and it's wall art. You can see how big it is. You wouldn't want to put that on a tree unless you have a really, really big tree. All right, and the one we're making today is gonna to be even bigger. So how cute is that? I love the material underneath. I'm not gonna be using the same material today um, just because I couldn't find it. I think this was a scrap piece and that's one of the things that I really like about this craft is you can use just like kind of scrap pieces. So it makes it super fun. All right, so that's what we're making today. All right, let me see. Actually, I think I might be missing one more piece of it. That's all right. All right, so what we're starting with is a loop. And like I said, this one's a bit bigger than, than the example. And really, this is this is something I just picked up, um, I think, at a thrift store or something like that. But I did see that they had some at, at Walmart that were about these sizes for about, like, $2. So really still inexpensive. Um, sometimes you come across them at the dollar store. See, I, there's even a tag. I only paid $0.50 cents for this one. So you can get them secondhand, and it's great. All right, so first we're going to loosen that up a bit. Okay, and um, take that out, but because it's taped together, hold on, I guess I should have done that before. I'm gonna quickly slice that, get that tape off. Come on, easier said than done, right? All right, that should have done it. All right, come on y'all, there we go. All right, so we're separating them, All right? And then you guys got to pick what kind of material you want. You can go and get uh, get whatever you want. Just make sure that it's bigger than your loop, okay? Quite a bit bigger because you want to be able to have enough space to put it on. So I'm just double checking to make sure it's bigger. If you're having trouble seeing, go ahead and swipe the comments to the right and you'll be able to see a lot better, all right? All right, so that's what we got here, right? Okay, so I'm just going to flip that over, okay? Flipping it over, pushing it in. All right, I think I might have done this backwards actually. No, no, we're doing good. All right, so making sure it all fits in. If it's getting a, a little too snug or it's not getting on there, then loosen up that top a bit. Mine is a little too loose, so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it a bit, okay? And so at this point, you'll wanna tighten it anyways once you get it all in there. Oh, make sure my loop is all still together. It's not. So I suppose this part can be a little finicky, but it's still pretty easy. All right. All right, let's try this again. Laying it out. Putting the backing on. Okay, make sure it's all in there. Oh, okay, so I have to loosen a little bit to get it back on there because I tightened it too much while it was off. All right, got that all in there, okay. Then I'm just gonna tighten it up. So just screwing that to tighten it, make sure it's good and tight. And once you feel like that's good and tight, then you wanna make sure that this material is super tight. So you wanna go around and just kind of pull it a little bit. Make sure you're not pulling that, that loop out, you know, make sure you're not uh, pulling the circle out, but just pulling the material a bit, right? And we want to do that just to make sure that it's good and tight. All right. Just going around the whole thing, making sure that's good and tight. Okay. And then I'm going to tighten this even more. All right. All right, that feels pretty good. All right, so for me today, I'm actually not gonna keep this permanent because I actually promised my daughter I'd give her my loop. So, but what you would normally do, so we're gonna go ahead and trim this up, okay? Just so you don't have a ton of material to work with, just going around the circle, making sure you still want a lip there, okay? But just making sure there's not a whole lot of one, right? So just going around, trimming off all those little extras. And once more, this really is only taking a few minutes to put together. Getting that loop in there exactly how you want is probably the hardest part. So that's how super, super easy this is. All right, so there we go. So if you're gonna leave it permanently, then you don't want that all sticking out there, right? So what I did was I just used my hot glue gun and I just started folding in 
and gluing. So you're just gonna do a little bit of glue, fold it in, and just go around the whole thing doing that. All right, and like I said, I promised my daughter that I'd give her this loop back, so I'm not gonna do that, but that's how it'll look. You'll have a nice clean edge, okay? All right. All right, so then at this point, we're able to decorate. So what I was, what I ended up doing, so I have some extra glue still in my glue guns. I'm just gonna push it out so then I can get to the sparkly glue and let that heat up. All right, so at the dollar store, they had these sparkly glue sticks. And um, honestly, I think they're starting to get rid of them. So make sure you get to the dollar store and check on them. But I did hear that you can find them online. So if your dollar store doesn't have them, um, I got them at Dollar Tree. So, you know, maybe if you check some of the other ones. And I just realized that I put my pattern in ups upside down. Oh, no. Okay. There's Santa's going both ways. All right. That makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> All right. So we just got started getting the sparkles coming out. All right, and then you kind of decide what kind of design you'll do. So on this one, as you can see, I did some that were dots and lines, and they're kind of spikes, if you can see that, little triangles in there. And so that's really what we get to do, is we get to decide what we're going to do. So I kind of like to do, you know, the, um, the rounded shape, kind of do it. So then it's rounded, so then it looks more like, like an ornament, like it has dimension to it, right? All right, I think I'm going to need a little more glue pretty soon here. And the sparkles just really give it that little bit of extra Christmassy glitter, right? All right, so then we go like that. You could even do different colors if you have the patience to do it. All right, and that looks like I'm ready for more glue. And so I'm, I think I'm just going to stick with the green to make it easy today. All right. And you can freehand it if you guys want. You could probably grab a pencil or what is it that that chalk stuff that you can use for when you're sewing and stuff to mark things. So then you can uh, have it all marked out. I'm just going to add some circles in there. And you want to go back, of course, and get rid of all your glue strings. But super, super, super easy. Then you get so much to be able to decorate. And I mean, you could totally do this with your older children too, right? All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and do another line here. And as you guys know, it's usually a little bit messier when I do my lives because I try and do them nice and quick for you guys. All right, come on, glue. All right, just up and down. You know, squiggly. Actually, I probably should have left that blank and did that one, but that's okay. It still looks nice. And like I said, you can use any material you want. Just get it in there nice and tight, and you'll be good to go. All right, so we got some squiggles there. We'll just do a plain one in the middle, just a plain strip, so people can enjoy that material that you chose, whatever it may be. I did have a couple of vintage materials and I had trouble deciding which one I was going to use today for the example. All right, here we go. And maybe in the bottom, we'll just do some more dots. How about that? All right, just about to the end there. All right, I'll do more dots in the bottom. And I think maybe I'll make one of these lines thicker. You can fill them in. Really, you can do whatever you want. Maybe even grab an ornament off your tree to use as inspiration. Okay. I think I'm just going to quickly fill this one in. Come on. With the uh, smaller glue guns, they don't get quite as hot. And so they take longer for the glue to heat up to come out. All right. Anyways, I think you guys get the gist. All right, I'm going to leave that half done. All right, so that's kind of where we've got right now. Okay, how cute is that? All right, and then because we want to um, give the full effect and kind of hide that loop, okay? So what I did, actually, maybe we should put our hook on first. Let's see if I can find my wire, oh, we can use this one. 
thought I had some sitting here, but it seems to have vanished. So this was just wire from the dollar store. Oh, I do have some. All right, there we go. So we'll go ahead and use this one. And so that's just a, from Dollar Tree. So I don't think I have any clippers, so I might not be able to use it. Anyways, so you'll only need a small piece of it. You know, you're just getting enough for your hook, so you'll have plenty left over for other crafts. All right, and it bends super easy. As you guys can see, look at how, how pliable and easy it is to use. So this was just a, a small craft I was working on on this side. All right, so I'm just gonna lay it all out so then you guys can see where we're starting from. All right, so we just got a little hook there. Twist it down a little bit. It can be a little bit sharp. Okay, so I'm just gonna twirl it a little bit to give us our hook. All right, that's probably good enough for our hook. Okay, and then we are going to wrap it around our loop right there, okay? So we're just gonna stick it through. You can pull it up. You could just twist it here, or you could wrap it around a couple times, but I think twisting it here is probably the easiest way to do it. So we're just gonna twist her on up. So just going around, go around it, and around. And I think that's about it. Actually, I'll use some material just so it doesn't hurt my fingers as much and then just tuck that little bit more in. There you go. All right, so we got our hook on there now. It's a little bumpy, but it'll do. All right, there we go. So we're getting really close to being done here. And like, like I said, these would be glued down, right? Because see, saving it for my daughter. All right, so now we're gonna hide that it's a loop, right? All right, so I actually filled in this top so then it would look like, you know, kind of the, the top of an ornament, that little piece that holds everything together. And I was able to fill that gap in. Look at that, just filling that gap in and make it disappear. Make it become part of ours. There we go. So that's the top. Just let it fill in. If it starts drooping in, then just wait a couple minutes and add a little bit more and it'll be fine. All right, and then we're kind of gonna glue it out kind of thick, so kind of take your time. Otherwise, it'll be too thin and then it won't actually cover it. So just do a little bit extra glue. And let, let you guys see that I'm kind of, kind of like billowing it a little bit to make sure that it covers our loop. All right, and obviously we do that all the way around to give us our complete look. And I will finish this and post it, but that is pretty much it, you guys. Look at how cute that is. And you can put it on a wall. These are gonna look so cute on the wall together, actually. Oh, I got something else cut. All right, and there you guys go. How cute is that? So you guys can easily make these super inexpensive, super easy, use some scrap material, and you guys got something gorgeous to put on your wall. All right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Um, if you would like to see more videos, you're more than welcome to add me as a friend on Facebook or you can follow me on Facebook, super easy. And um, I hope you guys are all having a wonderful holiday getting into that Christmas spirit and we'll talk to y'all soon. All right, bye-bye, you guys.